I think a lot of it has to do with women are busy in their careers and they're you know, raising families. And so I think a lot of times people look at public service as something they'll do once their family is raised or once their career is more established. But I think that's the main reason is people are, women are raising kids and um, making sure they're creating jobs and being a part of their immediate community rather than working on public service issues on the state level. I think that we haven't in Oklahoma done a great job of trying to recruit women to run for office. I think we're doing better at it now, um, but I think that uh, we haven't we haven't put as much of a focus on it as maybe other states have, um, and that's a that's a bipartisan issue um, because women. I, We've seen it time and time again that women um, are a are, are very important part of um, the process and bring a very unique skill set um, to the legislature. I think so. I think men and women alike bring different skill sets and different personalities and give different things that um, make them unique. And so I would love to see more women elected. In fact, I'm disappointed that there aren't more women running for office this year. They decided to do something different. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. I mean, it's. I've had the same experience. You know, I've tried to recruit women and have had um, varied um, results on that. Sometimes they decide to run, sometimes they decide that they have something else going on. But um, that that's an important point that um, women are, women have to be asked to run most of the time. Um, men have a tendency to do it on their own. Um, and women, while they are absolutely as qualified um, and as capable, are um, a lot of times more focused on their immediate communities and um, you know, involved in nonprofits, involved in their schools, um, and they're, they're serving very important roles there. Um, and, and so it's not that they're not involved, they just haven't taken the next step. Yes, I think, I think that we are treated differently and in some good ways and some bad ways. I think Representative Hall and I um, have probably had the same experience that it's hard to separate whether um, these things are due to age or that we're women. Um, and so the day that I was sworn in, um, a friend of mine introduced me to another representative and his response was, oh great, who are you here working for? Um, and I still get that sometimes, like on the elevator, if somebody asks me, you know, oh, where do you work? And I say, I'm in the House of Representatives, and they ask, you know, what do I do there? Who do I work for? For the most part, most part, I feel like all of our colleagues treat us with the same respect as everybody else in the class that we came in with. Um, but, you know, you still run into folks in the hallway and they assume you're a page or an intern or a legislative assistant. That's just part of it because we are an anomaly and we are different from um, what the rest of the body looks like because we're part of that 14%. Yeah, I mean, we, we have talked about, I think, for a couple of years, trying to start a women's caucus, um, like a formal women's caucus that would meet. Um, but I think we have a de facto women's caucus definitely already. Um, you know, I remember at the end of last session um, meeting with um, some of our colleagues from the Senate and trying to get a deal on some, on some last minute um, legislation and issues. And um, so we talked, just the women, and it was amazing um, how productive that conversation was. And I've experienced that time and time again because um, from what I've seen, the women in the legislature are more likely to come together. They're more likely to work across party lines. Um, they're more likely to not worry about who's getting the credit. They would rather just solve the problem and move on with it. Domestic violence issues are a great example um, because I think even if we're not, um, even if we haven't been victims of domestic violence, we have a friend or a family member who has been and we, um, we understand that more and we understand um, the fear that some women have in those relationships, I think a lot better than, than our uh, male colleagues do.
Emily and I both came in at a young age, and so it gave us an opportunity to not only speak to young women, but also just to speak to young people in general in running for office. And I think that's been one of my favorite parts of being elected is having an opportunity to encourage young people, whether men or women, to encourage them to run for office because I think we have an opportunity to stand up for our generation and make a difference. It's a lot of hard work and it is um, being a young female. It's definitely an uphill battle, especially in the campaigning process. Um, because because you look different, you, you're you younger, and like I said, you aren't given that automatic credit that, that a man who's older than you might be given. Um, and so having having the title and being able to, to work in this building um, gives you a responsibility, but it also gives you a great ability to help people. 